If you're still deciding where you want to watch the total solar eclipse over Dallas, there are two big and free events with space still available. Harold Simmons Park is presenting the solar eclipse at the Trinity River. NASA is hosting a viewing at the Cotton Bowl. Fox Wars' Lori Brown live in Dallas with more. Lori. Clarice, the Trinity is perhaps the best unobstructed view of the Dallas skyline and the Trinity Park Conservancy knows that this area is going to be a gold mine as long as it is sunny April 8th. I think it's definitely a picture perfect spot. I think the eclipse is a once in a lifetime opportunity and um, this is, a, like I said, a great central location for Dallas. The Trinity River at the Ron Kirk Pedestrian Bridge and Felix Lozado Gateway has one of the best views in all of Dallas where nature meets the skyline. I mean, look at it. It shows you everything Dallas is about the skyline, how beautiful it can be, but also how rugged it can be at the same time. So when it comes to an ideal place to enjoy a total solar eclipse over the city of Dallas, Tony Moore, the CEO of the nonprofit Trinity Park Conservancy and Harold Simmons Park, believes there's no debate. Ronald Kirk Bridge is framed by the Margaret um, Hunt Hill Bridge, that iconic Santiago Calatrava Bridge, and so it's already very Dallas-centric, right? But when you look due east, the skyline of downtown Dallas just really frames it pretty cool. And the best part, especially for people downtown or in West Dallas. It's right in your backyard, Dallas sites. The parking in Dallas is always a challenge, but we do have some parking spots that's available on the first come first serve. Our friends from Trinity Grove assisted us with some parking um, right central to the location of viewing. And so um, we also have quite a few school buses coming in, bringing our, our thousand uh, students. And while there may not be plenty of parking, there will be plenty of room to stand and mingle along the pedestrian bridge and even in the floodway. The bridge itself is a, is a half a mile linear stretch, so there's plenty of places for viewing. And the floodway, the beautiful nature floodway, can also view it and experience it from there. It's unlimited viewing down in the floodway. There will also be educational activities and eclipse games from noon until 2 p.m. And over at the Cotton Bowl, another big venue. Festivities hosted by NASA will get underway much earlier. Gates there will open at 8.30 a.m. The hope is for much better weather than for this FC Dallas and her Miami scrimmage when fog obscured views even inside the stadium. Guests at the Cotton Bowl will include an astronomer and band from the PBS series Ready, Jet, Go. Both the viewing events at the Trinity and the Cotton Bowl are free, but the Cotton Bowl event does require registration and due to construction, only half of the Cotton Bowl is going to be available. So it's a good idea to go ahead and get that registration in. And for both events, you're going to want to arrive early and to avoid traffic, stay late. Clarice. Lori, thank you.